of the coding that people do is actually fairly simple. Um, it's it's more about the process of breaking down problems than uh, you know sort of coming up with complicated algorithms as people traditionally think about it. Even if you want to become a race car driver or play baseball um, or uh, you know build a house, all of these things have been turned upside down by software. What it is is you know computers are, are everywhere. You want to work in agriculture? <laughs> Do you want to work in entertainment? Do you want to work in manufacturing? You know it's it's just all over. Over the next two years studying computer science, we will focus on programming. We will continue to develop your knowledge around programming, giving you the skills to desire, write, test and refine programs using a high level programming language such as Python, Java and HTML. We will provide those skills to practical tasks which will allow you to debug and problem solve like never before. With computational thinking and algorithms, Let's take problem solving to a whole new level. To tackle complex problems, we learn to understand what the problem is and develop possible solutions. We can then apply that logic to writing algorithms. Behind every computer program is an algorithm. In computer networks, we will see how powerful the internet can be as we cover wired and wireless networks, network topologies, and see how our world is digitally connected. System, security and software, a perfect combination. We will take a look at the many types of system software, its tools, features and how it's designed to make our lives so much more easier. We will then cover system security for those of you who are intrigued by the world of cyber security, hackers and the many different types of attacks that our computer systems are at risk from every day. There are laws that govern how we use computers, from the Computer Misuse Act to the Copyright Act. In legal and ethical, we look at all the laws, the do's and the don'ts when using digital devices. We also dive into the impact our devices have on our ever-changing environment. A deeper understanding of how hardware and software that your digital devices use really work as we look at system architecture. Remember, inside every smartwatch, laptop, and PlayStation, there is a central processing unit. Data representation. All data is represented as binary digits, whether it's numbers, text, images, or sound. We continue to build on our knowledge of data representation as we say how images and sound can be modified, manipulated using the changes of binary values. Our aim is to boost your computing skills that are essential for the 21st century. What you will achieve with the BTEC in digital information technology is an experience and a qualification that will develop proficient fundamental computer skills. Digital information technology includes the exploration and use of databases, the internet, cyber security, spreadsheets, presentation applications, the management of personal information and email, project planning, word processing and document manipulation, HTML, website design, and the integration of these programs using software that meets industry standards. Other areas of business include personal branding and social media will all be covered. This is an exciting, more practical course which will test and stretch your creative and problem solving skill set. The BTEC will prepare you for a career in computing and massively increase your knowledge and understanding of technology. After completing your GCSE or BTEC, you'll be open to choose from a range of different options that suit your needs and interests. You can opt to continue studying computer science at AS or A level, or you could go to college to further your education and choose to study a wide range of different courses like games developing in creative computing, or perhaps study computing and media if you have an interest in the music industry. You could then look to progress in the field of computing. Why not go to university? There are so many courses and options to choose from. 
or you can also take those skills you have learnt and then you can build on them in apprenticeship where you can train and gain some work experience as well as a recognised qualification. As you can see, there are an incredible amount of career and job opportunities a life in computing can open up for you. Even if you don't decide to have a career working with computers, studying computer science gives you a large range of transferable skills. Most jobs today require digital IT skills. In fact, 93% of jobs in the UK use digital technology. We have all found out the importance of technology during the pandemic. This is a great opportunity for you to further develop your knowledge, your understanding and skill set in the world of computing. It's pretty humble beginnings. I think the first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color? Or how old are you? I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. The first time I actually had something come up and say, hello world, and it, I made a computer do that. It was just astonishing.